Are you just going left, right, left, right? Well, considering I did right, right, left, no. <laughs> That's spooky dookie, but... It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with TBR Roulette. This is my new TBR game that my mom created last month because if you're new to this channel then you don't know this but she always picks my TBR and she came up with this game which I thought was really fun last month so I asked her to do it again. But essentially what she does is create cue cards that have different sayings on them and then she sits behind me and I have to pick one or the other and that's the book that goes along with whatever the word is. It'll make sense once I put in the footage of me actually picking them but she chose a total of 10 books this month because in August I'm actually off from work for a week and we're going to Florida so I'm gonna have a lot of time to read because I'm technically off for two weeks which is so exciting for me. But without further ado, let us get started. The first two cue cards that she wrote were not the and the so the cue card that I chose was not the, which means I am not reading the X-Hex. So that one is going to go away. And the one that goes with not the is Not Your Ex's Hexes, which is by April Asher, which is a companion novel to Not the Witch You Wed, which I have not read yet, but I believe that I can get off of Libby. So I'll probably end up doing that before I read this, just so that... I know who these characters are. I do think that you can read this one before reading the first one, but just to be safe, we're gonna we're gonna read the first one. But this is about a witch who ends up having a one night stand with a half demon, and they end up falling in love. So, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. Apparently, there's a lot of magical mishaps in this, so I'm here for it. The next two cue cards she chose was ugly and beautiful. I ended up choosing Ugly. So I am not reading Beautiful Lies by Lisa Unger, so she's going away, which means I am reading All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood. This is one that has been on my TBR forever. I don't know if it's pedophilia to be exact, but I do think it's grooming. So we'll see if I'm wrong. I'm so sorry. This book is also in here upside down, so that's not going to be fun to read. I should probably flip that around so it's actually right way up. Next two cards are red and white. Okay. I ended up choosing white, which means I am not reading The Crimson Vial by Herschel Cole. So he's going away. She chose White Rabbit by Kayla Broherg again because she really wants me to read this. So it is lucky that I picked it again because I had no idea that she chose it again. But this is a thriller about a boy who breaks up with his boyfriend or gets broken up with and then... He returns one night, but then he gets a phone call from his little sister saying that she's in trouble in the woods, so then they go to the woods, and the little sister's covered in blood, so... That's spooky dooky. We're finally gonna read this, maybe. Next two cue cards are plastic and wood. Go. I ended up choosing plastic, which means I am not reading Witch Wood, which is actually good because it's the second book in a series, so she didn't know that, so it actually just worked out how it should. But that means I am reading Fake Plastic Girl by Zara Lisbon. This is one that I have had on my TBR for a very long time. This is an arc from 2019, so that tells you how long it has been there. This is about a, like, ex-child star who moves in across the street from a very average girl, and then the child star turns up dead after pulling this average girl into her lifestyle, and people start blaming this average girl for the death of this child star. And it's basically her, like, trying to prove her innocence. I think it'll be a fairly quick read, because I do believe it is young adult, and the writing is fairly big, so this might be one we actually get done. Next cue card pair is first and last. No! What do you mean? You ready? Yes. Go. I chose first, which means I will not be reading Last Dance by John Feinstein, so that's going back into the shelves. But I am reading First by Lori Elizabeth Flynn. This one follows a girl who has decided to help people lose their virginity, basically. But then her best friend's boyfriend finds out about her services of, you know, taking people's virginities, helping them learn how to have sex. And he wants a turn at this so that he can make the best friend's first time a good time. So, um, hopefully she doesn't do it, but I guess we'll see. I feel like this is going to be a very drama-filled book, and your girl loves herself some drama, so I'm not entirely mad about it. Next pairing is Daughter and Mother. Go. I chose Daughter, which means I am not reading Mothered by Zoji Stage. So that's going 
away. But I am reading Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I've read three of Trisha Levenseller's books and I actually do typically really enjoy her writing. This is one of her older series that I still just have not picked up yet. Next pairing is Ravens and Crows. Okay. I chose Ravens, which means I am not reading The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. Josephson. It doesn't matter because I'm not reading it. But I will be reading An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I really loved A Sorcery of Thorns, which was her second book. I believe this is her first book. But I really like that one, so I'm hoping I really like this one as well. I believe this one is about fairies, which I'm a fan of fairy books, so intrigued and this is one that I know for a fact is in my library as an audiobook so this might be the one that I end up listening to on the plane. Next up is Butterfly and Snake. Okay. And I chose Snake which I am very happy about based off of the book that it is but that means I am not reading Butterfly Skin by Sergi Kazistov. It's a Russian name. I, I can't do Russian. I'm very bad with pronunciation of Russian names. But it does mean that I get to read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Susan Collins, which is such good timing because the movie is coming out soon, and I have yet to read this book. This is the prequel to The Hunger Games, which is like President Snow's origin story, which I've been meaning to read forever so that I have it done by the time the movie comes out, and it never got done. So now, ample opportunity. We're doing it. Next up is 6 and 17. Go. Or last. Okay. And I ended up choosing six, which I am also very excited about, which means I am not reading Missing at 17 by Christine Conrad. And I am getting to pick up The Atlas Six by Olive V. Blake, which I am very excited about because I told her this is one that I actually really want to read. Everybody has read this at this point, and I just have not yet because I am so far behind on this bandwagon, but I want to be a part of it because I also own The Atlas Paradox. So if I can read this, then I can read The Atlas Paradox and be done a series. Then she created the pairing of a nanny and maid. Okay. <laughs> And I ended up choosing Nanny, which means I am not reading The Maid by Nita Prost, which means that's going back on the shelves, but I am going to be reading The Nanny by Gilly McMillan. This is another one that has been on my shelves forever. This is another one that I know for a fact is at Libby, the library app on audiobook. So this again might be the one that I choose for the plane ride home. That could be the plan, but it's a thriller, typical Gilly McMillan. I'm excited. We love thrillers in this house, so this is a good choice. Alright everybody, so that was TBR Roulette this time around. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!